Welcome everyone, and welcome to the first Mega Life 21 Fireside Chat. I'm your host, James P. Madonna uh, of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. And uh, I welcome you to this uh, Fireside Chat video, uh, uh, which uh, was made for a specific purpose based on something that happened recently this week. Um, for those of you that are familiar with uh, Mega Life 21 and myself, uh, I have been doing a weekly show uh, called Progressive Discussions. Okay, and uh, it's an uncensored, uh, FCC-free, corporate-free show that I do with my longtime friend and uh, co-host and mentor and the uh, founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, uh, a man who is a member and also on my friends list, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. It's a very hard-hitting show. So what I did was, um, being that I have five Facebook groups, one of them is politically oriented, and uh, I had different names for the group. And finally, uh, I decided to rename it Progressive Discussions after the show. I also renamed my Facebook page, my free promo page, Progressive Discussions. Uh, the group grew very quickly, uh, and up until recently, I had uh, well over 800 members. Okay, and uh, I just want to say thanks to the uh, specific individuals who were members of that group who contributed so much to the group with comments and posting and and some of them became my friends and uh, you guys did a great job I'm proud of you and uh, uh, I'm glad to have you back aboard the uh, the starship so to speak but what happened was um, up about two days ago, I did have well over 800 uh, members, and everything was going fine. I mean, granted, my Facebook groups are all uncensored, and I do not censor anyone for specific reasons, for personal reasons. Uh, I had personal experience uh, being in groups that were censored, and I don't like it. Um, I don't like... Um, to bite my tongue and not be able to express myself. So I allowed the full expression um, of the members of my group. Um, uh, people have a right to hear and be heard and, uh, and to say what they feel, all right, and give their opinions, not worrying about uh, being persecuted for it. Uh, but there are people who joined the group who were not did not bother to read where it says you know the description of the group what the group is about did not bother to read it so they kept on forgetting the fact that the group is uncensored so uh, you know they pretty much uh, got all upset when anyone challenged them debated them uh, insulted them and uh, what they were supposed to do is reply and fight back, tell them off, and debate. You know, an open, free exchange of ideas and uh, or opinions. And uh, just as someone has the right to say something stupid on the group, uh, others have the right to straighten his or her ass out and tell them off. Okay, and... Uh, they have to deal with the retribution from others. So I think it's fair to have an uncensored political group. It was, it was, it was things were actually very uh, uh, unique and uh, different from other groups. You know, where other groups were totalitarian dictatorships with lots of rules and regulations, and of course, censorship. Uh, I was threatened uh, to be thrown off a particular food group um, that I used to be a member of called Hot Dog Nation. 
and it's run by a person very uh, active in Time Warner Cable and Hot Dog Nation uh, uh, it, it was a food group based on uh, going on tours to famous hot dog uh, establishments, landmarks throughout the country. So I made some criticisms, some, uh, uh, um, uh, I had some harsh words against certain people on the Food Channel. I do not like the Food Channel. Uh, I do not like many of the shows for certain reasons. Um, and I made some critical remarks towards uh, two or three of the uh, so-called celebrities on the Food Channel. You know, and I have good reason to feel the way I felt. Uh, so I have my opinions, and I was threatened to, to be kicked off the group because I was being negative. And, you know, right away when you, when you say something that other people do not want to hear, and you hit a sore nerve, a raw nerve, um, you're immediately uh, called a hater, and, you're, and, you, and you're, you're accused of being toxic and, and, and negative and all this crap, you know. People have to accept the realities of life, and it's not all positive. It's not all, uh, you know, peaches and cream. And these people that have labeled themselves, whatever they call themselves, progressive liberals or ultra left wingers or whatever, um, they want to live in a very unrealistic world. Um, you forget about bipartisanship compromising because it's not going to work because simply you can't negotiate with hardened criminals, you can't negotiate with terrorists, and you cannot negotiate and compromise with right-wing conservatives because they do not want to compromise with us. So there are these uh, ultra left wing progressive liberals that are loyal to the Democratic Party which is a, uh, a corporatist political party they take campaign contributions in the millions from the fat cats so you know even though you are in fact voting for the lesser of the two evils definitely you are still voting for corporatists that owe favors to the big shots the elitists now I changed the name progressive dis from, pro from Progressive Discussions to uh, Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth because I do not want to uh, be um, pigeonholed and labeled and categorized into a certain uh, political uh, niche, you know, a, a, a certain um, uh, category, political category. I, I do not want to be labeled as such because uh, there are faults which are part of left-wing political individuals. Uh, Democrats, liberals, whatever you want to call them, Democrats, left-wing liberals do have their faults just like the right-wingers have their faults. They don't have nearly as many faults as conservatives but they do have some faults. And uh, one of these faults is that many of them uh, do not wish any confrontation. They're, they're, they avoid confrontation at all costs. They're sycophants, which is like saying an ass-kissing suck-up. They're, they're sycophants. They're pacifists. They don't have the backbone to roll up their sleeves and get down and dirty and fight with uh, the enemy. Sometimes you have to do that. You cannot negotiate with a conservative. It won't work. So they insist on making nice, nice with everybody and just going around with a fake, phony uh, Cheshire cat grin on their face saying that the world is wonderful, life is wonderful, people are wonderful, and I love everybody. And I hope everybody loves me. You know, like Barney the Dinosaur. This is not realistic. This is not the real world. So these people came into my group. Uh, with the impression that it was a um, a censored ultra left wing group and they expected me to kick out anyone who ruff, ruffles their feathers up a bit anyone who 
who uh, debates them, anyone who challenges them, anyone who says something that they, they take offense to or they feel insulted by, they wanted me to kick them out. I told them, I'm not kicking them out. You go and debate them. You challenge them. Take them on. Tell them off if you have to. Say whatever you want. And you, you're an adult. You deal with it. Um, because censorship goes on and on and on. Where does it end, censorship? You know, it's like, I just don't think it's the way to live. You know, uh, I'm very, uh, me and my uh, Internet Talk Radio partner, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, we were both very much against censorship and, of course, conservative propaganda. So I changed the name of the group. I changed the name uh, of my f Facebook promo page from progressive discussions to what it actually is, uncensored, hard-hitting truth. Um, I do not want to be affiliated with any political party. Um, I do not want to be categorized or labeled as anything but an independent who believes in doing the right thing in life. Just do the right thing and be able to distinguish right from wrong. Don't be a sociopath be able to intelligently distinguish it and just do what you feel is right and 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 do do what's best for the masses the mainstream not just the elitist and uh, once independents are invited to if which they should to the uh, televised political debates then the American people will get to know the independent candidates but uh, I am for independents I have no use for the two-party system anymore. It's totally corrupt, and that's it, you know. Well, getting to the reason for this fireside chat, like I said before, a few days ago, I had well over 800 members in the political Facebook group, formerly known as Progressive Discussions. Um, Within a couple of days, I went from over 800 members down to three members that I found. Three members. And some of the people that were uh, contributing the most to the group and became my friends, they asked me, they say, uh, two of them asked me, why did you kick me out of the group? I said, I didn't kick you out of the group. I was not online all day, actually. I just logged in. I did not kick you out of the group. I think I was sabotaged. I think someone hacked the group. And it could be right-wing trolls. I have no idea. It could be Facebook, uh, uh, sleazy, uh, greedy Facebook uh, upper management, you know, corporatists on Facebook. So I have no idea who did it. But I have a feeling it was deliberately sabotaged. And uh, a person that is... Um, I guess you would say is working on my behalf, has some things to tell me, and they will inform me, and I will be informed eventually as to who did this. Uh, total sabotaging. So I apologize to the people out there that were a ver played a very big role in my group who thought that I kicked you out of the group, and that's farthest from the truth. I had I did not kick anybody out. Even two trolls that were getting on my nerves that were not obeying my my requests. They weren't. They were very. Uh, they were just not complying to the fact that when you post something on my group, make sure there's a um, a comments box for everybody, because if you don't have a comments box, it's censorship. And everybody had a comments box except yours truly, myself. So they didn't like one or two of the comments that I posted in regards to their posts about religion. And they blocked me. And I said, no, you don't do that. Not on my group. Everybody gets a chance to express themselves, whether you like it or not. And uh, what, what ticked them off was the fact that I said, uh, when it comes to religion, not one penny of taxpayers' money should go towards anyone's religion. And no religion, even the right-wing religious evangelical nuts, the Holy Rollers, no religious 
person or any church or any religious leader has the right to stick their nose into politics because once you get involved with politics and you're representing a church then you should be paying taxes like the rest of us you know you should I think the uh, the churches especially the mega churches churches and the evangelists and any of them with a high amount of uh, monetary donations should pay their fair share in taxes just like any other business okay they certainly want to get involved with politics all the time and they do it especially with Republicans um, and not one penny of tax dollars should be spent on any religion because no one has been able to prove that their God exists I don't care what you say they come up with all kinds of excuses there's still no one who has proved that their God exists so therefore no tax money should go towards religion and church and state should always be separated no religious leader should be involved in politics otherwise pay the taxes like everyone else so anyway my the group was sabotaged long story short I know it was a long story it was sabotaged and uh, I apologize to the people that were loyal to my group and my my show uh, on the internet um, I apologize for thinking that I kicked you off when it never happened um, I have a, a Mega Life 21 uh, YouTube channel I'm on Twitter same name uh, Mega Life 21 Twitter account and live stream livestream.com uh, backslash <coughs> Mega Life 21. So, um, like I said, I appreciate the people that have contributed a lot to uh, all my groups, and uh, I had nothing to do with you not being a member of my groups. I know uh, a very important one of my administrators actually left my friends list, defriended me, because he thought that I kicked him off the group which I did not. So I apologize and I, I sh I'm showing my appreciation to uh, those of you who uh, contributed so much to the group. So this is my um, first fireside chat with you. I conclude this fireside chat and uh, who knows maybe it's part of a whole series. So take care and uh, I'll see you soon.